Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how you can purchase your first home with a 500 credit score in 2023. So stay tuned. I think you're going to like what I have for you in this video. Thanks for stopping by the channel. My name is Mo. I'm a longtime real estate agent and real estate investor. And you're probably here because you want to know how you can purchase your first home with a 500 credit score. Well, the name of the program is called FHA. So what is FHA? FHA is a government backed mortgage issued by the Federal Housing Administration. And normally borrowers who take out FHA have what you call a higher upfront cost and they also have mortgage insurance. But I'll go over that later in this video. So let's dive into the requirements for an FHA mortgage. There are different types of loans. You have conventional and you have FHA and also VA and some other types of loans. But these are like the main loans that people use to actually purchase a home. So if you are a first time home buyer, uh, FHA have very flexible uh, requirements and most first time home buyers utilize FHA to purchase a home. Uh, I like FHA because it gives uh, a person who never had an opportunity to purchase a home actually buy a home. So if you have a 500 minimum credit score between 500 and 579, then you can actually uh, purchase a home. And also it's going to depend on the lender that you use. So make sure you shop around. They will require you to put 10% down. So if you have a 500 minimum credit score and you have 10% to put down, then you can actually purchase a home. All right. If you have a 580 or higher, then you can put down 3.5%. But also keep in mind your debt to income ratio, which is your DTI, has to be 43%. It has a cap off at 43%. But this is also going to depend on the lender as well. So just make sure you shop around so you make sure that you just don't go to the first lender and that's who you start with. Uh, just ask them what are their requirements. Don't allow them to run your credit. You don't want everybody running your credit, especially if you have a low credit score. But when you're shopping for a mortgage, you have that uh, option or that opportunity to actually shop around. So it doesn't hurt your credit score if uh, you're just shopping around for a mortgage. OK, so I want you all to keep that in mind when you're actually uh, shopping for an FHA loan. So I'm giving you guys the juice, giving you guys the knowledge. There's a difference between FHA and the difference between conventional. All right. So keep in mind, conventional is going to be more. So if you're a first time home buyer, you definitely want to stick to purchasing with FHA. And also, this must be your primary residence. So you have to actually live in the property. But you can purchase a four unit or an eight unit apartment building with FHA financing. You will just have to occupy one of the units. I wish I had known about this when I was 23 years old when I bought my first property. But if this is your first property and you're a single, you don't have a family, this is a great opportunity for you to actually uh, take advantage of this program in 2023. They have increased the loan limit to like four hundred and seventy some thousand dollars, uh, depending on where you live and where you're located. But this is a great program if you're just getting started. This is your first home to purchase. Uh, I definitely recommend FHA financing, but I also recommend that you do uh, your research on it. And don't forget about the mortgage insurance. That is the MIP mortgage insurance premium. The mortgage insurance premium is 1.75% of the actual loan amount. So this is going to be based on the loan amount, but it is also included in your mortgage. So that is nothing to uh, really worry about. And if you put down less than 10%, it will uh, actually go throughout the loan term. And just to give you guys a little bonus, most states have a program that will help you with your closing costs anywhere from $5,000 to $7,500. I am located in Georgia and Georgia has a program called the uh, Georgia Dream. So just check with your state to find out the name of the program. Uh, I hope that this video was able to help you. Don't forget about MIP. Don't forget about the DTI. and Don't forget about the credit score. All right. So I hope this video was able to help you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.